A good news story coming out of Central Australia with the Kalkarinji Primary School receiving an ANZ Netball Nation grant to fund a school program. The small team of teachers is putting the funds to good use with some students travelling to Melbourne for a netball carnival. This is warming up in more ways than one. The chilly Melbourne weather anything but normal for this group of girls from the Northern Territory. Their journey to the southern states for a netball carnival is a special one, which begins here in Kalkarinji, an 11-hour drive south of Darwin. At the Kalkarinji school, playing and teaching netball isn't always easy. Hard concrete blisters bare feet. The facilities, while ample, provide plenty of challenges. We have a basketball court. That's it. We've been trying to get funding to get a netball court or get our basketball court turned into a multi-purpose court. But um, so far we haven't been successful with that. In a sport built on structure, here it's a little more freestyle. But with that comes the excitement of learning new skills, new ideas, new reasons to keep on coming back. It gives them something to do after school, because usually we train after school. Really all they do is they go home or they go to the river, so it gives them something to look forward to every week to get to go and play netball and especially when we can organise trips. Of course trips require funding, equipment and clothes thanks to some very dedicated teachers and the ANZ Netball Nation grant initiative, that's become a reality. It's quite difficult to get things when you're so remote, so when you've got that support coming from elsewhere when you're just two teachers volunteering your time after school, having that extra support, it was really great. The joy is evident on each and every face. Balls to shoot, flash new uniforms and shoes that unite and inspire. The shoes too make, probably makes them feel a lot more professional and stand out yeah. a bit more. Um, yeah, feel like a team I guess. Um, it's not ideal running around in, in bare feet, so having, especially playing against other teams, having yeah, the shoes to be able to wear. And where they did, back in Melbourne, the girls represented the territory, their school and their people with pride and passion. This is the power of sport. Jay Corritz, Nine News.